Good morning. So before we begin our ceremony, we're gonna have a special treat from our music students led by Mr. Sanchez. So let's give him a round of applause.
to be here by a teacher that has noticed your efforts and your hard work, your ethics, your values, and you are here because you have worked hard. Your GPA is outstanding, you do your homework assignments, you are a team player, you help others succeed, that's why you're here. And that being said, you are also the face of ELC and the brain. I'll share with you why. In a couple of weeks after spring break, after we get back from spring break, you will be taking exams for the state of California. Mr. Flores went over those exams. We're gonna send you the bell schedule. We're gonna send you the calendar. And that is the final test that you will take for Elizabeth Learning Center. That is the final. Based on those results, we are graded as a school. So we are relying on you to continue to do your best that day, get your rest, show up on time, have breakfast at home, something to make you focus, and keep all your cell phones turned off. Those weeks of testing, we cannot have any cell phones out because we are jeopardizing the results on our final exam. That is our final exam. As a school community, the administration team, our teachers, you, you are working for that day. You are learning for that day and beyond. But of course, we take one event at a time. And today we are here to celebrate you. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we do wanna pledge the legions together. Everyone please stand. Please put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Please have a seat. Let's go ahead and get started with our awards. Good morning, everyone. Um, I feel honored to be here celebrating our middle school students. I would like to thank teachers and staff, and most importantly, your parents, um, for all the support during this academic year. The, the transition was not easy, but we are thankful for everything your parents did to help you, the students, achieve success. Um, we're going to get started with our awards, and first and foremost, Ms. Chen is going to be presenting her awards to uh, some students. Okay, everybody, good morning. My name is Ms. Chen. I'm the Title III coach here at ELC. And today, I have the honor of presenting the awards to students who have reclassified. Before I present the awards, a lot of students, and maybe even teachers, are not quite certain what it means to reclassify. So I want to tell a little story. Last award ceremony, in the fall. Uh, we had a lot of students who reclassified. There was one student in particular, she didn't show up. And I thought she, maybe she was absent. So the next day, I had her award uh, certificate, I had her swag bag, I found her and I said, why didn't you come yesterday? And she said, oh, I was here, I got the summons, I didn't think it was for me. I thought it was a mistake because it, it was an award ceremony for honors, honorable students 
and I thought somebody had made a mistake, so I didn't show up. And that broke my heart because students who have reclassified have worked really hard. And let me tell you what they did. If you've reclassified, that means that you have shown, you have mastered the ELD standards by passing two really challenging tests. Tests, by the way, that some adults even struggle with. And you also earn a C or better in your ELA or your, or your ELD class. Another way you can reclassify is um, you submit some work samples and a group of at least 10 adults look at your work and they decide, yes, you've met the standards. Okay, so it is an achievement to reclassify. It is an honor, okay? It's not something you just do, okay? So I really wanna honor these students. Um, I'm really proud of these students um, and uh, for all the hard work, okay? And so what I told that student was, you do belong, okay? You do belong as part of the group of honor students. Okay, with that being said, I have um, students I'm presenting the award to. Okay, we're going to start with Mareli Jasmine Mendez Torres. Juan Diego Velasco. Jaden Giovanni Alvarez Lopez. Last but not least, Jaden Love Gomez. Come on up. Okay, so one final round of applause. Thank you. outstanding students who have achieved a 3.0 or higher and satisfactory and excellence in work habits and cooperation during the um, fall semester of, of 2021. Here are our principal's honorable recipients. So these are our honorable recipients for the sixth grade. When I call your name, go ahead and come on up. So Jimena Aguero Sanchez. <laughs> Wendy Aleman. Giselle Araiga. Angel Barajas Castro. Adam Corona. Echeverria, Evelyn Elias, David Estevez Jr., Victoria Fernandez Castillo, Daniel Flores, Belen Castellum Arellano, Alejandro Gonzalez, Lourdes Guerra Pensamiento, Roberto Hernandez Ramos, Isabel Lanten, Airama 
Martinez, Areli Martinez, Brianna Martinez, Bella Molina, Ariana Nevarez, Raúl Nieves Martínez, Patricia Núñez, Daniela Orozco, Fátima Padilla Celis, Bridget Ramos, William Retana Hernández, Amy Rios, Isaac Romero Solis, Nathan Saavedra, Janet Salas Contreras, Catherine Salazar, Victor Serrato, Ariana Soto, Savannah Pinajero, Jocelyn Vargas, Kaylee Islas, Valeria Zaragoza Vega.
Mendes Anthony. Mendoza Meredith. Montes Rihanna. Morales Carlos. Ontiveros Alia, Ospina Jason, Palmer Miguel, Partida Kevin. Juliana Pita Medina Galilea Rivera Rivera Jasmine Ruano Genesis Sanchez Angel Santana Valeria Santos Morales Alessandro Silva Cesar Sofia Funes Haley Yeah. 
Marisol, Turibio, Scarlett, Turcios, Figueroa, Bayanara, Ujed, Kimberly, Valderrama.